Anyway, now okay. to some more serious matters. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about you. Uh, you're a, com a comedian. You're very successful. And uh, remember I asked you about comedians who at times, everyone expects you to be happy all the time and to live on cloud 10. Mm -hmm. And um, we last year we saw Robin Williams, very popular comedian, commit suicide. A lot of people in the arts suffer from severe depression. And it's, it's really given. I think even in this country, um, maybe not clinically diagnosed, but you can tell there's, there's a superficial element to it. But tell us about that. What's your view about Well, that? my view is this. Yeah. It's not peculiar to comedians alone. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's peculiar to celebrity. It's peculiar to stars. It's public peculiar to figures. public figures. Mm -hmm. It's peculiar to leaders. Uh, Miles Moreau once said, it's a lonely walk at the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of times your fans, your followers expect that everything is working for your good, everything is working well, you don't have issues, you don't have challenges. Mm -hmm. I mean, please, we are not superhumans, we are human beings with red blood, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got issues, we've got challenges as well. Now, talking about Robin Williams that committed suicide, there have been several American millionaires that committed suicide. And they have all the money, which means money doesn't make you happy, mm -hmm. but everybody wants to find out. Yeah, <laughs> everybody wants to find out. So what, there's always a missing link, eh? a vacuum, mm. which is only God that can fill it. So for me, I got God in my life. I got joy like a river. When I'm in my low times, in my down times, there's always God for, for me to lean on. So from my Christian perspective, a lot of times the missing link is God. Okay. Because after all the material acquisition, the fame that you have chased after, you still feel a sense of emptiness. Mm -hmm. A life without Christ is in crisis. Mm. Without God factor in anything we do, I tell you, is vanity. And that coming from you being as successful as you are, I think, is really amazing. Tell us about how you began comedy. Okay, I began comedy. Growing up was fun for me. I've yeah. not always been a comedian, but I've always been a sto good storyteller. A I good remember. storyteller. Oh, yeah. I remember growing up when we were in, in Nigeria, we call it primary school. Mm -hmm. Primary school. Yeah, same same it, thing oh, here. Oh, same thing. Okay. Yeah. I will call it primary one, primary two. Mm -hmm. That's how we call it. Okay. So while I was in primary three, okay. yeah, that was when we started English class. They tell us when we resume a new session, the English teacher there's always a, is always regular. It's a regular every session. You always say, spell out, uh, write how you spent your last holiday. Same mm -hmm. thing here. Oh, my yeah. God, my <laughs> brethren. <laughs> I will write stories of things that did not happen. <laughs> Places I did not visit. Oh, yes. so Are you I was serious? I was always stopping the class, eh? Mm -hmm. I was always stopping the class and people uh, my teacher always made me reference, but well, can't you see him? Mm -hmm. He wrote solid so well. detailed information. What did like, you write that okay, time? For instance, yeah, growing up, I grew up in a state called Quara State. Mm -hmm. Then growing up. Lagos was like a New York for us. Mm -hmm. ah. uh, yeah. So you're a village boy. Yeah, I'm a village boy. Call <laughs> me that. <laughs> so I write about Lagos that we went to Lagos, we visited the beach, we saw horses, we ro ro rode on horses, we had we sailed on the high sea, la 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 la. We lodged in five star hotel. Wow. And you know, back then, where I grew up from, we don't have stuff like that. There's even no beach in Kwara State anyway. <laughs> it's a so after, place. <laughs> yeah. yeah, landlord. <laughs> so after class, all my friends, my classmates will rally around me. Hey, that essay you wrote, tell us. Tell us more about tell Lagos. More. So, you know, I'll tell them. Another one, I'll tell about another tourist attraction in <laughs> Nigeria that we went visiting. So I was a good storyteller. Uh, and these are all lies, right? really? They were, we don't call it lies. We call it fiction. <laughs> okay. <They> were, <laughs> <laughs> lies. Okay. Yeah, they they were fictional. They were okay. fictional. Yes. Well, uh, well, they were fictional. And later, I, I joined and the press club. Mm -hmm. We call it press club while we were in primary school. Mm -hmm. We read news. So I, I was a news caster in school. Primary school. Yeah, so we read news every Friday. I was already in the creative heart. Mm -hmm. Then later, secondary school, my comedy started, part started now sprouting. sprouting. I went to a boarding school. I went to a boarding school, and on Saturdays, there's virtually nothing to do. So we used to have this session. It's called Yabis. Mm -hmm. Yabis is, what Yabis means is like you abuse each other. Mm -hmm. People oh. will be healing. Who like has the strongest? Yeah, we call uh, it uh, Chongo I, I, uh, I can yeah. say that, look at your head like uh, Kisumu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, you know? it's Mchongwa. No, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> so, so you'd have you know? your beef? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know? So uh, people be like, yeah, Shogu, you're doing well. Yeah. Then later, I got to the university. Mm -hmm. That was the turning moment in my life. We had a youth program. While I was, while, while I was on campus, I didn't attend a campus fellowship. I attended a church. So while we had a special program, Youth Week precisely, it ended on a Saturday and it ended with a variety night. So there was an open mic. We were like, if you know you can do something, come out. Lo and behold, nobody came out. Wow. So I volunteered myself, sacrificial lamb. Mm, sure Not so sure. Yeah. Mm. So I went out, I cracked the few little jokes I, I, I knew back then. And the whole auditorium was electrified. People were shouting and screaming. So when I finished, the pastor called me. Well, like, you did very well. That tomorrow, and these were clean jokes. No vulgarity. No, 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 no vulgarity because mm -hmm. I already had a good background and I know the difference between an altar and a secular. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I've already oh, by because that time. of your Christian, now yeah. that you're called Holy God. Oh. Or glory. Glory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that means the shot of glory. Oh, yes. So, yes. So he told me that he was going to give me another five minutes. Mm -hmm in church the following Sunday. So I was begging him, Daddy, I don't have what to say. Yes. I don't know. Say, go and cook up something. So I looked at, I looked around, I looked at the sisters in church, okay? I could say something about them. Pop. 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 The Sunday again, hectic. Lo and behold, after that one, again, he said, now you have five days to prepare. The following Sunday, I'm giving you another five minutes. And this time, Dr. Ari, mm. you were cracking jokes, relevant jokes. Relevant jokes. And they were funny. And they were funny. Were they passing a message? Because this yeah, is church. Was, yeah, it was, it was passing a message because another thing I discovered about comedy, comedy is a very good tool mm -hmm. to inform, to educate, to inspire, to correct. Mm. And people can take it wholeheartedly. Mm. Because a message is passed across more, better, better assimilated when people can laugh about it. Mm -hmm. That's true. No serious man oh, talks yeah. seriously about serious issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So at times, uh, some of these uh, messages that we need to pass across, humor is a very good tool. Look, okay, take for instance, indecent dressing in church. Mm -hmm. Pastor comes every day, preaches, hammers on it. No one and yet it's as if there's no impact. Mm -hmm. Now somebody comes on a lighter note, says the way you dress, you reveal your cleavage. Don't you know that uh, 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 you're selling yourself cheap? La, 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 la. Make something humorous about it. Mm -hmm. Everybody laughs. And probably, he might you just... You can even go extreme. Yeah, you can uh, go extreme. And, say, and people like think that, it's like humor. That yes. Like that sister dear. I mean, that's not the sentence. The only spirit will not even dwell around you. <laughs> <laughs> The fat of her will be crushed. Yeah. <laughs> she may laugh. And people are, but you know. But the point goes, you know, goes on. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah. You'll be like, wow. Yeah. That's wow, a, that is a good one, though. For every point, you want, uh, for every message you want to pass across, mm -hmm. there are several mediums and ways you can pass it across. And trust me, humor is one of the best vehicles. I mean, during President Obama's campaign, Chris Rock was on his campaign team. Mm -hmm. Chris, Rock, Chris Rock spoke. So, which means comedy is even a tool that has even gone international that mm -hmm. people that know value associate with it. Mm. Wow. I never knew it that way. I, I never saw it the same. Yeah. And I well, did. in my whole, I think, church life, I've never seen a comedian on stage. Yeah. yeah. No, they yeah. do, but they only do just a one link, but not regularly like yeah. the way you, oh, you, no. you used to do yeah, on a yeah, regular no, 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 basis. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he has to be. The pastor giving you every, every so, Sunday. That is yeah. quite something. So he groomed me. Yeah. I can't forget him. Mm -hmm. Everything I am now, I owe it to God and I owe it to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Later, he called me and said, do you know that this thing you have done, you can host your own show on campus? Yes. Ah, brother. In the and Lord. you actually do have your I own hosted. show. I also you while I was a student, you are yeah. show with gate fee. So I was even handing more money hey. as a student than the pocket money they were giving me from home. Oh God! Yeah, yeah. he's a real yeah. Nigerian now. Oh. <laughs> I like you already. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> we're going on music break now. And as you can hear, this guy is truly, truly inspirational. Let us know any question you want him to answer, even about your own son or daughter, mm -hmm. if they have a gifting and are not very sure about it. He's the guy to ask. And of course, he has a few jokes lined up for us. And I told him, if it's not funny, I'm not laughing. <laughs> if it's not funny, then it means um, your if challenges are too high for my <laughs> 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 well, that's funny.
funny. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if it's not funny, I'm not laughing. Okay, laughing. Yes. Oh, so this is the most requested song right now. We're going to play them. We're going to play some Nigerian songs. Nigeria. Song. Oh, really? Will you teach me how to dance Nigeria? Oh, yes, I'm going to teach you right oh, now. Oh, yes. 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 Yes.